So a raccoon killed a $2.4 million deal. Unfortunately, it was one raccoon. Wow, that is insane. What you could have done there. Okay, so this is really exciting or a little bit creepy, but we have Al Fonessa from Tap Out Pest Control. TapOutPestControl.com. What's yes. up, Al? There we go. What's up, Eric? How are you guys? Good. Welcome. I'm excited to be here. And the reason we have Al from Pest Control is because of you. It, w it wasn't. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> what happened to you? We heard uh, that a pest killed, like, lost you millions of dollars, basically. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, a raccoon cost a two point four million dollar sale of a house. What? That's one, ridiculous. One Why? Raccoon? One raccoon. And how did all that come about? I mean, yeah. What's the story behind the raccoon? <clears throat> so, so all right. So the story is the the house was a vacant house. It was a foreclosure. Nobody was living there. And um, I recall I was installing smoke detectors and I'm up on a ladder installing a few smoke detectors and all of a sudden I hear scurrying. And I told the buyers, I said, you know, I was representing the buyers. Sure. I told them there's something up there, whether it's definitely not a mouse. You can hear it's There's footsteps up there. So anyway, we had a pest control company come in. We caught it. And um, I have a picture of it somewhere. There was a nice, healthy raccoon living in this house. How many? Just one. Just one. Just How one. did that kill a deal? I'm not scared That's of ridiculous. one raccoon. Oh, yeah, yes, you are. <clears throat> no, not one. Well, as long as it's not around. So, so how many raccoons would, would it take to make you a <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the number. Is it, is it two, three? <laughs> I'm just but, saying. But I know, Al, you're not scared of raccoons, are you? Well, I, because not. I would get an owl. And what's interesting, it was just one, so she, she must have just gotten in there and started building a den. Um, usually, that's, that's what will happen, right? Right around October, November, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll get in, they'll start building a den for, for their babies to come in, in a few months. Oh. And uh, the babies will stick around with her for about three months, and then they, they'll go out and... So, so what we did was we, we put a trap. Sure. So, so when I say we, I mean the sellers. The, 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 the seller's agent put a trap in the attic. They actually put two. It's a big house. It was a very big house. And they put two traps in the attic after we found the one. So we found the one. A pest control company got rid of it, whatever they did with it. Um, and then they put two more traps in there. And over the course of the next two or three weeks, there were no more... Raccoon. Oh, so it was really just one raccoon. That, that we know. Okay. Okay. And they sealed up where we think it was coming. It was a vacant house. Sure. Nobody's living right. there. Sure. Nobody's aware the of what's going on. The raccoon squatted. Exactly. <laughs> he has squatter's rights. Mm -hmm. He does, actually. What are squatter's rights for raccoons, Al? I don't think there are any. They, <laughs> they, they choose. They come and go as they please, really. And then it's our job to evict them, essentially. There you go. Do you have to, does it take 60 days to evict them, or you can just <laughs> lift them out and carry them away? <laughs> when did take you a week see the raccoon? Like, how far along in the buying process were you? We were probably three weeks so it was a cash deal um we were supposed to close in let's say five weeks we were maybe two or three weeks before closing it's about wow. Halfway oh wow the so you were really you were at the finish line yeah and and look i okay. mean you know in the end of the day everybody's got their own threshold for pests and things like that right you know like everybody's got their own view on it and some people you know the the, the problem was this particular buyer had um had an issue with raccoons actually with bats okay in their prior house yes and uh, they thought they got rid of them. And one day they're cooking in the kitchen or something, and a bat flew in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a sore that spot would for freak this. Freak me out. Yeah. I get it. I get it. So he was having flashbacks. Exactly. So that's that's the real reason that yeah. he wanted to pull out, even though it was just the one raccoon. He said, "I don't know what else is going on. It's not worth it to me." And I, I totally understand that. Like he's had a bad experience with, it and he doesn't mm. want to. He's raising his family there. They sure. have kids. They sure. don't want to deal I, with. No, this. I would not pull out for a raccoon. I mean, one raccoon, no other. I can't see that there are other raccoons because anywhere you go, there's going to be something. There might be a mouse. Well, that brings there up a great question. A so, so Al, what? Who's friends with raccoons? Like, if there's raccoons, what other animals should mm. we expect to be hanging out there? They they are very dominant. They they're not going to share space with okay. any other animal. It's very rare that <laughs> or they <person>. will. <laughs> yeah, they they, they 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 they. You know, when when the mother's pregnant, she get, becomes very uh, defensive, um, and. Once a raccoon issue starts, you want to get them out of there as soon as possible. There, there are many different uh, health and safety issues that, that 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 could come about. You know, most addicts are insulated and they're they're um, they're you know defecated in, in the attic mm -hmm. and and whatnot. Ew. Yeah. And, and you know, different diseases could be spread from raccoons. Um, Do they but it's eat? a pretty easy. Situation. Will they eat their competition? Like if there's rat squirrels and mice up there, what would happen? Not, not really. 
no. The, the mice, they don't really care about. Squirrels, I think they'll know. Um, but see, the problem with, with raccoons is that they have a goal of going in and going out after the babies are about three months old. Okay. You know, squirrels, it, one, once there's a hole, squirrels are going to start pushing through. So it, it becomes one issue after another uh, when you're dealing with raccoons. B bats is a very interesting uh, uh, subject as well. It's a big issue in, in New Jersey that we deal with. And the problem really? with bats are, yeah, I mean, and, and they are far worse than any other uh, um, animal that we deal in addicts. I mean, they they can cause many different diseases. Uh, they carry something called a bat bug, which is similar Ooh, to like a bed bug. It's like bat uh, bug. Which is, which is really interesting. And they, they feed on bats. They feed on human. Um, so you may not have bed bugs. You might have bat bugs. Well, yeah. And but, but how do you get rid of bats? So like a raccoon, we put a trap out. We caught it. We took it. And... Is we, that how you would have gotten rid of the raccoon? That's exactly how we would have done it. Okay. Yeah, okay. And, and, and I do have to ask up. you, what, what do you do to dispose of a raccoon? Like when, when you he catch it. He cooks it and eats it. I've been to his house. <laughs> he had, what we're having for dinner? He had a pig roast once at his house. <laughs> and you weren't so, sure. <laughs> and I was like, is that a raccoon? <laughs> No, we have, where no, do you I, take them? we want so so we relocate them. Um, it just depends on who you are and what. Yeah, so, so, farm so, so so we. <laughs> I generally like to take them out about to two, two to three. I, I wish we could. You know, raccoons are pretty cool. They're 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 generally nice. They, they, we deal with babies. They, they the mothers. Uh, once in a while, we deal with like a vicious one. Mm -hmm. Um, and and she's just attempting just protecting herself or or himself. Um, but yeah, we take them out about two or three miles away and we re-release re them. Raccoons are, are, are one of the, uh, the hardest things to trap twice. Once uh, an adult raccoon, raccoon goes into a, into a cage, she most likely will not go back into that oh, cage wow. unless her babies are in a cage or something like that. Hmm. Um, they are really intelligent. They're extremely strong. They can rip almost any soffit down, any fascia board down. They can chew wow. through roofs. It's, they're, uh, yeah. So would... A raccoon be worth killing a two point four million dollar deal. I mean, absolutely not. I know that sucks for both the Ooh. seller, the buyers, uh, agents like you guys. I mean, I I, that's a horror. I feel really bad for you guys. I wish you guys had called us. <laughs> but <laughs> when would it be? Next like, time, if you will call Top Out time. Pest Control. <laughs> if he had a ton Hopefully of raccoons there is no in next there, time, sure. if it was like a colony, do they have colonies? Like, and. Other pests, what other pests are worth killing a deal over? Like, what should I kill a deal like over? Like, if you have yeah, bats, if you have bats in your house, yeah. are they tough to get rid of? Is that when you no, should No, I mean, it's, it's, bats are, are, they're pretty easy to control. Um, really, all we have to do is set a cone. Um, it's a one-way tunnel where the bats can come out. We set some netting. Um, within a couple of weeks, you're able to control that situation. Do you um, put food in there so they go no, in there for the no, food? No, no, there's oh, so no. it's like a one-way trap. Yeah, because ba bats are going out every night to look for food and, and mm -hmm. whatnot, and then they're coming back in the early mornings uh, um, to basically sleep uh, for the day. Same as the raccoons. That's exactly what they're doing. They're very all, all the animals are the concepts the same. They're only looking for harbor in, inside houses. So, do you see like are more pests inside during the winter? When they need to be warm, animals, yes, yeah, okay. most definitely, yeah. Right around, uh, right around October, November, mm -hmm. once the weather breaks, this is when that's the animals when they start. They, and and they're just looking to build a den and have babies. Really, that, that's really their 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 main goal. Uh, but you did ask what what's something that could, what's could worth killing a deal. Yeah, over, what's yeah. worth killing I, I think deal. you know uh, we come across termite issues, like okay. really severe termite issues, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, in the United States, we uh, over five billion dollars uh, worth of damage is created in just termite, and that's damage. In that just we, termites. And just termites, and that's I think damage that's more that than your know. commission on that two point four million. Just like two or three dollars yeah. more. That's it. Sure. Very, sure. very simple. Yeah, and, and and I mean, the treatment is quite simple. The problem is the uh, the longevity of the termite. Depending on how long the termites have been there, they'll chew up the uh, sill plates and whatnot. Uh, some of the joists coming across, and it becomes you know obviously a structural issue. Mm -hmm. So your house and, could literally fall down. Well, if I don't the necessarily. That, that that's a bit aggressive uh, to 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 think. I mean, the termites yeah. would have to be there for for twenty plus years. And obviously, the okay. the thing with termites, which is very very interesting, is that uh, you either have termites, will have termites, or have had termites. It's okay. just the bottom line. And termites. They're kind of blind if we look at it. They, they, they believe they're going to run out of food, and so they'll bounce around from house to house over, over a year's period, but always come back to the original house. Well, how long does a termite live? I mean, they can, I mean, colonies, we have 25, 30 year old colonies. They, they, as the long actual years, termite, like, does he live for like a year? One, the queen will live nine, 10 years. Oh my yeah. God. I mean, this, it could be, yeah, yeah. and, and the, uh, the reproducers are, and whatnot, are, they're, they're constantly reproducing around March and April to grow wow. these colonies. And what happens is once the queen pushes out her swarmers in March and April, and this is when you see the flying ants, it's something mm -hmm. to look out mm -hmm. for. Um, whoa, whoa, wait, when you see what? <laughs> so, so right around I knew, March, I knew that was going to trigger you right there. Flying ants. Yeah. So right ants. around March, AKA is when the <laughs> <termite> <laughs> squad. 
Yeah, the, the queen sends out the signal for, for her swarmers, for her reproducers to make the colony bigger, essentially. And so that's the first indication of a live termite. Have you uh, heard her decision. signal? Like, does it she actually? No. Really no, no, no. Yeah. So like, come Charge! out, come out. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. But um, but yeah, there you know, it's it's definitely something that that we've seen uh, deals be broken over. So them. so I've yeah. seen the termite um, bait stations. Obviously, sure. they drill them into the foundation or something Correct. right around the border. Is that yep. the best yes. way to? How do you? Is that how you get rid of them, or is that how you prevent them, or both? Well, it, kind of both, we, which is really interesting about that. So in in our industry, we've gone completely, almost completely to bait, just just for safety reasons. It's kind of like an organic or organic way to way, way to do a, a service like that. The problem. Let, let's just use Hackensack for an example. Hackensack is a little more. It's a city base. There's not really soil. Everything is slab. Right. Um, so a liquid treatment in these areas will probably be the best bet. And when we're doing a liquid treatment, liquid goes into the ground. The best part about the liquid is it's good between five and seven years, we believe. That's what, you know, the, the longevity of the actual in, uh, uh, termiticide. The baits, they go into the ground. Um, they can be used as a preventative. Essentially, if a termite comes across to your house, they feed on this bait and they die off. Within 90 days, you have full rectification after a treatment's done. Do they take it back to the queen? They, they, yeah, they do. They feed on it. They take so it, it back. So it kills the colony. It, it kills the colony over a 90-day okay. period. But they have to feed on it. So that, that's the interesting part of the, of the actual baits. But we, we've gone almost completely to baiting when, when we're dealing with termites. So did you ever go into a house... And you got all your stuff ready and you're going in and all of a sudden you're like, holy shit, this house is going to fall down any second and you run. No, because I, you know, I've gone into crawl spaces that are pretty shoddy, but I don't, yeah. I, I had to have a, uh, a few sill plates replaced on a house, yeah. actually in Northville, sure. um, because of termites. Yeah. The yeah. inspector went down there and he made them replace the sill plate and a couple other things just because it was just in bad shape. So you're like a bug Superman. <clears throat> yes, so I am. So like what bug, bug, what bug are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of any actual physical bug. I just do not like dealing with fleas. I mean, and, okay. and the only, so. <laughs> Who does? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a flea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so they, they uh, we, we go into accounts and fleas will jump on anybody. They just want to feed. Okay. And um, sure, I mean, the chance of bringing them home uh, are, are, are very high with fleas. Okay. Um, more than really anything else. But do you gown up? Before no, you go in? No, no, I don't gown up for anything. Why not? Do you have a I cape just don't. that you wear? <laughs> no, but how do you, how do you how prevent, do you prevent from, yourself yeah. from you getting do covered you spray in fleas? Yourself before you I, I don't spray myself, absolutely not. I mean, I used to when I was younger, yeah. but you know, my wife convinced me that I might get cancer one of these okay. days and spraying insecticide on my body. But uh but um no, I just we, we deal with it. You know, we, we we're in and out, we're try we're trying to go in and out of these accounts. Are fleas a common problem? Do you see fleas all the time here in Jersey, just in the northeast? I mean, are just fleas everywhere? There's fleas everywhere. I mean it's it's all seasonal though so we are uh, come oh. april all from april to november we'll do we'll, we'll be in our flea season so we so pest control is a, a seasonal business and wow. does um, it depend on how clean or how not clean your house has is? absolutely nothing to do with that you know like you guys were, were saying for uh for example here we were talking about raccoons where yeah. raccoons can bring in a f uh, bring in fleas they can, oh, wow. she can be infested with fleas go into your attic and you can start a flea issue um groundhog, groundhog that's why ground. that's really why the guy walked away from the 2.4 million dollar <laughs> yeah, bill he the, knew that there could be fleas on that record. Because you don't yeah. want fleas. I so I <laughs> crazy enough, once I stayed at a hotel years ago and I, I woke fleas. up in the morning and I saw something crawl on in the bed. It was fleas. Oh, it wasn't a bed it bug. Wasn't it, a bed was bug. it wasn't a bed bug. I oh, sent wow. it to a pest control yeah. company years sure. ago. Sure. And he verified that it was fleas. This hotel was definitely a not hotel. Gurney's in Montauk. That's my favorite hotel. It wasn't there. They don't have fleas there. So we were talking earlier off camera, right? Sure. About the groundhog mm -hmm. that is terrorizing my husband David, right? Sure. So we have this groundhog. He lives under the shed. He comes out. He laughs at my husband, and then he runs away. He doesn't even care about our dog. He knows that this is his place. This sure. is his kingdom. Like Caddyshack. Yes. He. The movie. Oh my! My husband Watch is Bill Caddyshack, Murray. Watch Caddyshack. The movie. Yes. That was funny. <laughs> my husband yeah, is, is Bill Murray. Movie. He's yeah. like ah. Yeah. So why should we actually be wary of senior groundhog and how do we get rid of him? And is it a situation? What does that mean? Kill. Ah, well, it just depends on the client. So, you know, very, uh, that's a very good question. You know, the, the, the first concern that we obviously have is structural issues. Uh, Groundhog are digging. So just like if they're digging under your shed, you're like, okay, well, I don't really care too much about the shed. I it do. is. It, yeah. And, and again, it's your shed. So yeah. But but if it's under your house, I would say, yeah, that definitely becomes an issue because you don't know what kind of damage she's Well, he also has under. created holes all yep. over the yard. Yep. So someone could actually break their, you know, fall into one of his I'm holes. I'm envisioning you with a little hammer, you know, like the game of the arcade <laughs> where he pops his Whack a hole. Whack a hole. Exactly. Yep. 
we um so so we we have two options now. In, in New Jersey, we recently just uh, the the DEP and the um the EPA they passed the uh, CO two. They have a uh, CO two which is carbon dioxide. They have this uh, carbon monoxide. Um, you oh, know. so this is euthanasia. Y- yeah, I mean oh, we're I don't required want to, to actually us. we're actually required to. Can I just bring them to Adam's animals. house? I mean, sure you can. Whoa, if he's okay whoa, with them, yeah. you're going to get a lot of business because then I'm going to bring it right back to Eric's house. <laughs> Did you just say? Did no, you just we'll say? We'll bring it to Brian's house. We'll That's fair. That's fair. Did you just say that you're required to euthanize these for, animals? For the most part, yes, we we are required. We're we're not generally allowed to reintroduce that. Oh into my the, god! In, into Does the governor know this? <laughs> I mean, there's re- so the problem is like I feel like the state and the city municipalities all have different rules, and nobody right. really understands the rules. Like we, and I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I I release all my animals. Um, I don't release them back in your backyard. Because you're a super yeah, bug I man. Take, yeah, I take them out yeah. two to three miles. Um, but yeah, it, it just so depends on, on who the customer is. Like we, we I just I just bought uh, one of these CO2 machines. And um, if it's 50-50. People don't want to kill the animals. They want to re-release them. Yeah. It's, it's I don't really like to kill choice. spiders. I like to release yeah. them out time. Yeah. But, but it can yeah. cause structural damage. So there is yes. a reason. It's not just funny. It's not just Caddyshack. There is a reason for us to get rid of this groundhog. I, I would. And, and remember, they're reproducing at a fast rate. I mean, oh, every wow. year they're having three or four pups. Do they stay? So you said the ground, the, <clears throat> gra- um, the raccoons leave, but do the groundhogs? Oh, the ground. Stay that's forever? their shed. That's their house. Yes, they'll stay there as long as they're. They basically in, in that. Region. That's oh a pretty yeah. nice house for yeah. a groundhog. Oh, How long do groundhogs not. live? I mean, I would say a, a healthy groundhog could probably live over five years. Oh or, wow! Or so. And then the kid will stay in the same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, so like once you got groundhogs, they're there for 20, 40, 100 years. They could be. It's hereditary. They, oh. they, they're Damn. heirs. They're yeah. heirs to the to the shed. We gotta yeah. get rid of those groundhogs. They get rid of the groundhogs. Yeah. They're trying to get rid of you at the same time. They want the they want the property. You know. <laughs> they are trying to get. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, we want to move from this we, shed we to that first. house. You haven't been <laughs> the here groundhog long as we or have. the human who who was here was first. Here. Exactly. Yeah. So is there something that works for us to get rid of, like the homeowner? Or if you are doing a flip or something and you find these groundhogs, are you, is there a way to get rid of them beyond calling pest control? So what I would say as a flipper, I probably would just ignore it. I mean, because there's all these, there's That's a cost bad. to it. I would just let the owner deal <laughs> deal with it. But if it were um, if it were your house, I, w- I would just I would do some trapping, or I would look you know, if you're okay with you some euthanizing the the animals, which is legal now in New Jersey. Well, you said CO two. Uh, Couldn't we just hook up a hose to our car? No, they have those <laughs> kits on Amazon. We've looked at them. Sorry, For groundhogs. Really? Yeah, you hook yeah. up the hose to the back of your car oh and you stick it in the hole. Wow. We have not done it yet. Yeah, I, I they probably take a bit of an wouldn't <laughs> recommend you guys doing that. I would leave it up to the professionals. Yeah, no, That's I, not I a DIY. D- D- I could totally I see you <laughs> trying to do that. <laughs> the weekend, like, <laughs> David's out flying. Let me let him. Let me let me get rid of this groundhog. Let me, let me give him a gift. <laughs> let me get rid of the groundhog. Yeah, um, yeah I, I probably would not recommend. That. And if you're gonna do I that, make sure the, car, boys the car is me. outside and not inside <laughs> the garage. And make sure you're not using my electric car. You know, because you're not gonna get very far. No, your electric car won't work. Point. There's so, no exhaust. There's no exhaust. There's there's be, I could see somebody walk around the car like, where's the exhaust yeah. on this thing? Oh, that's right, because it's electric. I could see you doing that wiggy, too. Wiggy, wiggy. No offense. So how did you get into <laughs> pest control? <laughs> so I got into the uh, into the industry about 10 years ago. You know, as, as a child, I, I dealt with an issue that you know a lot of people come across nowadays, bed bugs. I had a, uh, a really major infestation as a kid. I grew up in a lower, lower income neighborhood in Bayonne, New Jersey. And... Um, I had bed bugs for almost two years, and and wow. they and we had exterminators coming in on a, on a monthly basis. How do you survive that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was just a kid. I didn't understand. Did they bite I was just getting you? Bit. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I was I was highly allergic to the bites, um, and there was not. We, we didn't even. I mean, I come from really nothing, and we we had no money to take mm-hmm. care of it. We had the building um, essentially sending somebody out every, every month, and that's just not the solution. It's just not because um, you're like tamping them down, and then they come right back. That's exactly right. But yeah. if the building is sending out a pest control person, sure. then why do they keep on coming back? How do you how do you prevent that? Because you could go to a hotel and get bed bugs. Yeah, I got or attacked not. by a bed bug at a hotel once. Yeah. I believe it. I mean, we, yeah. you know, there's a little to- off topic here, but like we we um I have an office in Jersey City and we have a, we have a drive we have a parking lot and we we Ubers pull into our lot, buses is there. We 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 treat everything. Wow. Really? Um, oh yeah, bed bed bugs travel anyway. Wait, and Ubers have bed bugs? Oh man, I Holy I did crap. an Uber I did an Uber a few months ago. That that pulled into my office and I, I've been in this business for about 10 years now and I've seen almost I mean infestation levels uh, unbelievable and this car was probably one of the most infested cars or, or anything that I've ever seen I mean that car and just think about this right you just need one pregnant female to, to latch on to you 
and bring to your house. That's all you need to start a bed bug infestation. Well, that could cause a lot of problems in, in a lot of things, but yeah. And, and so, and <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so I was thinking something out. very similar at this. Thank you. Uh, uh, exactly. I'm, I'm going to ignore we, that comment, and <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm so hold out. on, we need mm. like a certification now. Uber needs to make a certification. Yeah, this is a but all it takes is one person. My son's in an Uber like once or twice. But all it takes is one person, like you're saying, to get in there. Like like the hotel I stayed at. Like there were no other issues with the fleas. Same idea. There were no sure. other issues. Sure. One person stayed there that had a flea or fleas and it got into the bed and it's just that's it right it's just the no, end that, that's, even that's with it. leather car seats that does not matter they, they don't discriminate matter. they do not care they're like this is they luxurious just want to flee. <laughs> that that's it you're you're basically a host for them and and yeah so they I, you know and you can't really estimate on how many how many how many bed bugs latched on so actual actual passengers uh, but but on. you assume, you would assume and and, these, and and what's interesting about that is most of these people probably do know they have the bed bug issue and they've been complaining and they're not pulling the cars off. It's Uber right. that's saying, go get that car treated and get it certified. Oh, wow. Oh, for sure. For, for sure. And why do um, people actually like say, Hey, I got attacked. That's them. exactly right. And Uber mm. will require them to treat the, the vehicles. How do you know if you're getting attacked by a bed bug? Well, you're, you're not going to know. I mean, unless, um, it's just, so when you're getting bit, it's, it's not, you don't really feel a like pain. A, it's like, oh, it just becomes a bug bite. Yeah. Exactly right. Exactly right. And, yeah. and once they start feeding over, over a, a couple week period, that's when you'll call out a professional like us and, and we'll do an inspection. This is starting to bring back bad memories. We went to a timeshare in the Berkshires once, my cousin's timeshare, because we don't do timeshares. And I was sitting on the couch. It was like a log cabin. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, uh, out of nowhere, like I had like a bite on my elbow. I'm like, what the hell is this? Didn't realize what it was. Sure. For, for, foreshadowing or forecat, whatever. It's nighttime. We go to the bed and I had my, uh, we had a cot there because it was my wife, myself, and my, my little, uh, I think my son was like four or five. And all of a sudden, there were bed bugs everywhere. Lena so, must have freaked out. She was like, we're leaving right now. Well, when Lena gets tired, <laughs> she could almost sleep through anything. <laughs> so I put her on the cot because the cotton theory was just brought into the room. It was elevated. And then I'm Googling. I'm a big Googler. So yeah. like my wife yells at me for Googling shit because she says, you know, Lena, what you're your about. wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I Google everything because believe it or not, Google does provide answers. Yes. So I'm Googling and there's nothing you can do to get rid of bed bugs in the middle of the night. So literally I just took all the sheets off of the bed, except for like the main fitted sheet. I put my son in the middle. I created like I was like visual, like watching, and it said that all your arms have to be covered. If you're covered, you'll be less likely to get bitten. Like they'll go for your exposed skin first, but like so, my son had no bites, and I but I got a couple. My wife was safe, but it was disgusting. We went home. Yeah. We took everything. We like emptied it in the garage. Yep. You're supposed to freeze it or wash it or what? I was like, yeah, I would gross. wash and dry. I mean, here here are some like simple tips when we're anywhere Please. you guys. In, I know you know, most of you guys are traveling. Um, don't put anything into the drawers in these hotels. It bed bugs do not discriminate. They don't care if it's a one star hotel or a five star hotel. Let's just keep it at that. Um, and so don't don't put any of your, any of your luggage any of your luggage material in into the drawers. Um, you can do like a visual inspection. Bed bugs um, do leave feces behind, which are bl small black dots on the sides of the mattress or the box or the box spring. Um, and then when you're uh, when you check out of a hotel and you go home, I would take the luggage, leave it in the garage, leave it outside, and dry whatever can be dried right away. And um, that's a, an easy way. Hold on. Do you actually do this? I do it, yeah. yeah. Uh, so wait a minute, because my husband is a pilot. So he is yeah, flying. Fucked. He's in hotels Every all the day. time. You're, you're, you're he's like, flying all the yeah, time. Yeah. He brings his his luggage right back in, and sometimes he goes right back out. You should put him in the shed. Like, <laughs> I'll you put him in the, the shed hogs? with the groundhog. He's going like, to fight <laughs> the groundhog. Well, listen, it seems like odds are, are with you guys. You guys haven't had an issue. So, I, you Wait, know, we got to knock on wood a little bit. Hold on, but now we're, we're at risk, too, because we hang out with I'm you. I'm just sliding <laughs> away right now. <laughs> but why are fleas worse than bed bugs? It's not that they're worse. It's just the um, – so bed bugs aren't generally – they don't jump. Fleas jump. And and they'll they'll jump from from you to you, and and that's all. Fleas on planes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And they're 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 really difficult to to kill. I mean, when when you try to squeeze one, it'll just jump jump off of you. It, it, listen, it's just personally for me, I don't like, like it because I'm yeah, I'm, I'm allergic to to any bites, and and okay. they they just tear oh, that's me funny. up. That's yeah. funny. 
That's you're in the pest control business and you're allergic to bugs. I'm allergic to bees. This this season, I got I get stung and I get a little complacent. I, I've been in a business a long time, so I get I, I don't really respect the the insects sometimes as I should. And th- and this summer, I've been stung about five different times by wow. yellow jackets. Yellow jackets were out of control this summer. I mean, I'm sure most people have had probably an issue with with that either this year or last year. And they're hard to get. The ones in the ground are hard to deal with. They're, they're not really. No, yeah. no, not for us. I we mean, went simple, to the, sa- the there's a hotel in Lake George called the Sagamore Hotel. Gorgeous yeah. hotel. Gorgeous hotel. They have like a tiered pool deck that overlooks um, Lake George. There's bees everywhere. Yeah. Like you're sitting in the lounge chairs and it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. And you have the food served at you. And mm-hmm. it's like it was the most horrific experience <clears throat> I've ever had at a hotel yeah. because it was gorgeous and I wanted to be there. But it was like I was panicked every five seconds yeah. that I was going to get attacked by a bee. So you had bed bugs. Yeah. And then you were ten years old oh, yeah. and got into pest control. No, 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 no. So, so yeah, that, that's what kind of interested me in, in in bugs. And and um, you know, I was about twenty one, twenty two years old. I just needed a job, and there was a a, a listing for a job, and uh, I got hired by a big mom and pop Viking Pest Control. I'll say the name because they just recently sold the business. Um, and sell, right? No, they no no. They sold to a company out in Switzerland okay. to uh, Antisemic, and um, so I was I was with them for two or three years, and I really found a liking to the business itself. I, I really enjoyed uh, killing things. K- well, not really <laughs> killing things, <laughs> uh, controlling things, relocating things. things. Um, yeah, exactly. And um, you know, I, I I picked up a huge commercial route, and um, customers. I, I had a customer, Budweiser. And uh, what's interesting about that, a funny story, story with Budweiser, I was a brand new technician. Budweiser, the beer. Yeah, the beer, okay. the beer company out of uh, uh, Newark, New Jersey. I was brand new. I was in the business yeah. for about uh, for about six months, and they gave me this this route this one day. So I went into this closet. They had American cockroaches. I'm sure you guys are water bugs, I think, is like sure, a rich yeah. term mm-hmm. to use for, for American cockroaches. It was a <laughs> co- closet full of them. And so I grabbed my sprayer, and I start spraying these roaches down. But I've Do never, they start flying at you? Well, they, they, they're not great flyers. So they'll jump, and they'll, they'll glide a little bit. But what I didn't I didn't know was the ro- what happens with American cockroaches when they get when they touch insecticide they rise and they, and then they, they go on a ceiling and they just start dropping. <laughs> oh it my is, god! It is really crazy. Oh my that god. was a great YouTube video. This and also sounds like a start of a horror film. It, it, it was absolute horror. So so the, the good thing it was it was Friday afternoon so they were when just I did this. On you. So the the uh, the door I opened the closet door and these roaches are just falling on the lines and I'm just like oh my god I'm screwed I'm gonna be in so much trouble and that only happened for about ten minutes I grabbed a broom and I swept everything up it was like you know it was again it, I was lucky it was on a Friday afternoon but that was my first experience with like American cockroaches with inexperience and um, then you were into it then you were like this is what I'm doing oh for yeah the rest for sure for sure I'm gonna sure. open my own so business and everything one of the things we do here is talk about real estate so. Right. How do you uh, give us pests. give us a couple different things? So, how as a flipper, right? And we we teach people how to buy houses sure. and and flip them. We teach people how to renovate, whatever. How, what advice would you give when someone's looking at a property? How would they determine if there are some bug issues here? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely do a uh, wood destroying insect uh, um, um, inspection. We most pest control companies in our area do offer that. Um, and are small fees. I mean, anywhere from a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars mm-hmm. for an inspection like that. Um, you know, I I work a ton with real estate agents all around New Jersey. So what happens is, I, and and you guys probably know this better than I do, but you know, most FHA's and and VA loans, if a, if an inspe- a home inspector or a termite inspector comes in and finds any kind of uh, termite damage or would destroy an insect damage, yeah. they want the property treated. They will not close the property mm-hmm. until it's treated. So I would just hire a professional, bring the guy in, you know, and, and if there is damage, either fix the damage or have a treatment done and get a one year warranty so they're okay. covered so mm. they don't they don't hold up any of these loans or people don't back out of these deals. I mean and again it's it's such as it's not a substantial cost. I mean what do you what do you think about um did you ever watch King of Queens growing up? Do you remember the one with the uh, bug bomb? I do not remember uh, the one. It's a great episode. But those bombs mm. you know what I'm talking off. about. You, yeah, you, yeah. you buy it at like they Home sell Depot. Sell the grocery stores, the can. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The can. Yeah. Yeah. One. You know, in in that in that show, they made it seem like it made it a lot worse. Um, I don't. So know. we we did that for the groundhog, thinking that maybe the bug stuff would. You were going to you were trying to flush you him out. We were, try, we were yeah. trying to flush him out. Yeah. yeah, that that's a good question. I mean, yeah. So so the, the so what what they are? They're pyrethiums, but they're um, who they, they're pyrethiums. So pyrethium is, is none a, of us here yeah. remember <laughs> science. So it's a repel. It's a is that repellent. like a dinosaur. It's a repellent. So 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 essentially, any insect like like people you like, like people who buy that stuff are either dealing with bed bugs and roaches for right. the most part. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Like, let's just think about it. And, 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 um, and what happens is these, these insect soldiers scatter everywhere. It is not good. I would just hire a professional. So it's going to make it worse. Oh, y- yes. Potentially. Because oh, they're going to just definitely. scatter and go yeah. to other parts yeah, of the you're, house. You're going to kill things on contact if, if anything comes okay. across it. But there's no residual on it. I mean, okay. there, there, there's no kill effect after that can is basically empty within a matter of 30 seconds of, of, of you spraying it. Wow. All right. Yeah. So I have two more hot questions. Sure. First hot question. Since we are in the real estate business and we're going to houses all the time and, and looking at houses and traveling in different construction sites, how do we protect ourselves? Should we like wear like a bug condom when we get out of the car? Like what do we do? <laughs> um, I mean, so I don't know about construction sites. Well, I don't know if you what else would you call should, it? should be concerned. I'm just curious to see what you look like wearing a bug <laughs> condom. That's exactly. what I'm envisioning. He's going to send you a bug condom. We should invent that. <laughs> you, you, you should. You should. In, uh, different yeah. colors. <laughs> different, different, like one if you have dry skin, you could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, how do yes. we protect ourselves? Well, well here, here's, let's talk about it in, in, uh, in, on the inside of a property. I mean, you guys are scouring, trying to get listings and whatnot. Mm. Um, and I'm sure you guys come across some, some pretty gnar- gnarly stuff. Oh, but yeah. First and foremost, you know, depending on where you are, I don't like to sit down in people's houses. I mm. mean, I'm there for a reason. Um, and that's a, that's an easy way to bring anything really? back. Oh, yeah. I mean, you just don't, I mean, don't want to, you just stand up, have a conversation. Don't touch anything. So if someone's like, anything, here, I'll have a seat. Try not to drag. Yeah, no, I, I don't sit no, there. No, I've been sit. sitting well, all day. Listen, it depends what I'm there. If I'm there for termites, I also don't want to insult anybody. But if I'm there for bed bugs, obviously I'm not going to sit down in Got their, it. on their chair. Um, don't, you make sure when you're walking around, you're not dragging your clothes around things. You're not leaning on walls. Um, I do that all the time. And you're yeah. you're slant, like if you go into a bad place where where the roaches are everywhere, you just when, once you walk out of there, just stomp your feet. That's that's basically all you can do. And if you feel uncomfortable, then go home. How many times should I stomp my feet? You know, times, when, trying to, trying when to you get brush your teeth, you, you're supposed like, to sing the happy wig, birthday. Wig there. might be climbing up your they, they pants. Could, they could. Okay. It's extreme, though, really. I mean, this is not happening on an everyday, but I mean, right. it's actually. I'm I just staying home from now, here. and I'm not leaving my house. So this leads me to another <laughs> question before I get to my final question. Um, restaurants. So we deal with a lot of restaurants. Sure. We, we do a lot of commercial restaurant business. You know, we certainly eat at a lot of restaurants. Yep. Like... I've heard horror stories. One of my, one of, I'm not going to say what restaurant is, but I heard a story where the guy, the server, like, put the plates down at the table. Sure. And then when he went to do something, he, like, picked up the plate and there was a roach under the plate. Yeah. WTF. Yeah, I mean, so we service, like, my, my business service is uh, close to 500 restaurants on a monthly basis. And so where should we not go? Well, I'm not going to say that because most of my, all my restaurants after, you should go will you to. Tell us after all oh, my yours, restaurants so yours, you should go to. So we got to go to the ones that. So yours 100%. is the list of where if, we should if go. If tap Definitely. out pest control has been there, go there. It's Absolutely. the cleared list. Yeah. That we can go eat. <laughs> you know, I you know in, in in my industry and 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 a lot of that really depends on on management. I, I, any bug issues become the last of the pole. And with no matter what you're doing, um, it, it's it's something that you really don't want to worry about. And and what we find in restaurants or one, it's pure neglect collection from management uh, to the uh, the pest control company. They're just underbidding these contracts mm-hmm. and not able to spend the enough time in, in these restaurants. Uh, there are more restaurants that are infested than probably not. It, it, they, it is really ridiculous. And what happens is like they, they do, the city does yearly inspections of mm-hmm. these restaurants, which we probably should, we should jack up to every quarter and, and run through these restaurants and really see what, what's going on. I've been, and I, on a daily basis, we see horror shows in a restaurant. And, 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 and um, I do not know how these people are able to serve food. So give us a horror show. Well, I can't give you any names, but no, I went into a really it. popular pizzeria shop in Paramus. Uh, Paramus, here, New Jersey. In Paramus, New Jersey. I'm not going to tell you who it is, um, but there There's are only huge five franchise. pizzerias in Paramus. <laughs> and this was one of the worst infestations that I've seen. I mean, we're we're in there, and I'm just doing vigilance. It? Were they just right? actively just crawling on the floor yeah, everywhere? A- absolutely everywhere. And they were still serving. Yeah, they don't they, they don't care. So eat at home. Well, no, you can't shy away. I mean, listen, it, it is. Was what it on Route 17? No, we're I not going to try and yeah. tear Damn. down the restaurant. <laughs> How would you wouldn't eat there? Oh, absolutely not. But you fix the problem. Well, no, because it's a process. It takes us four to six weeks to get in there and actually and they rectify. Only, they hire you one time. They're like, we're good. Well, th- this restaurant went on a weekly service, which is which is which what they needed. needed. Yeah, definitely. So like a daily service. Well, no, or I mean, hourly. you don't want to overspray so chemical either. You don't want to kill people. What are you don't want to kill bugs? <laughs> let's get your top <laughs> tips. So, for all of the investors out there, for all of the agents out there, what sure. are your top tips 
in pest control? How do you prevent how to it? Keep and from how do, losing your two million? Yeah. And how half how do you not become it? Adam? Yeah. Well, it's difficult. Adam's situation <laughs> is extremely unique, you know, and I know you got, you probably did everything to save that deal, but, oh, he, you know. He definitely did. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know. He even climbed up in the attic with a vacuum. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he I, probably I tried to wrestle that. the raccoon. On a side note, I have a raccoon now. It's a pet. <laughs> 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 I named him Mike. <laughs> What are your top tips? Now, you know, my top tips, well, first and foremost, find a, a great exterminator in your area that you can really connect to because, you know, you guys you guys need need us more on, on most deals that you guys are closing. Um, secondly is do, do inspections. I mean, really, uh, on a yearly basis or when, before prior to um, purchasing a house, people bring in uh, home inspectors, right? Mm -hmm. And home inspectors are not. Uh, termites or most of them are not don't have certification for, for termites or, or carpenter ants and uh, so bringing in a wood destroying insect uh, inspector would really help you guys out mm -hmm. um in terms of like animals and stuff like that maybe d like do a visual inspection in the attic mm -hmm. um i don't i don't come across a lot of like home inspection reports that that, that, that write up are on, you looking on, for feces <laughs> when I yeah, when I'm up there, we, <laughs> listen. The most common thing in attics are, 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 are field mice. Yeah, you know, that's the most common <laughs> common issue. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, they, definitely. But they, it's all that's all. Are there minor special stuff. like glasses you wear to, no. to search for that? Stuff? No. So we're going to get inspections. We're going to look for the poop. And what was the first one? I'm still on the caca search. <laughs> <laughs> but I think these, the main issue is it, it, yeah, it, it, termites. It's it's really a huge termites, concerns that we have. It, it's a real. It becomes a real. It could become a, a real structural issue, and that's something that, that you should definitely hire a professional. Not only have the home inspector do it, but have a a, a, a professional termite guy do it. So, uh, I I believe. I just want to ask. Oh, I'm sorry. No, okay. you go. As regarding the termites, yeah. so. Um, obviously, we see termites all the time, and we see signs of wood destroying insects all the time. It, it happens, sure. right? Obviously, we try to get to it before it damages the house to where it's falling apart. So, if if let's say I called you and said, "All right, we have a house that we're closing," you come in, you do your treatment. How often you you only have to fill them like those little? Uh, they're not canisters. Pods. But the, the pods. Yeah, the bait yeah. stations. The bait so. stations. Yeah. You only have to fill them what every once a year now. So okay. you get on a service plan with you guys. That's exactly right. And you, you guys a, offer like a guarantee? We, we do. So we give yearly guarantees on all our termite services, okay. and you have an option to renew on a yearly basis, essentially. So, so if something happens during that year or something happens and they spot something, you come out and you take yeah. care of it. Yeah. And so. that, that's with everything. That's with pest control. Like we've gone into a more residual-based mm -hmm. business, so that, that's what pest control is trying to It's We're trying to get the concept of, hey, we, we bill on a monthly basis, subscription base. We bill on a monthly. We see you four times a year. Yeah. We check our bait stations once a year for termites. Uh, pest control is seasonal. Every season we have different issues, and that's why we want to go out there at least three to four times a year. Wow. Actually, since you're here, mosquito spraying every summer. Is that bullshit or is that, that real? Yeah. Good one. Well, Because well, I have some service. Well, here's the deal, It's not right? you. Yeah. Because you don't answer my calls. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I have some service, yeah. and they come like... Yeah. Every two or three weeks, and they I have just that same fog. Thing. Yeah. Like, it, it, it does like a leaf blower. It, it does we an amazing the, job. We live on the water, and we don't have it, and we don't get mosquitoes all that much, though. You get swans, though. We do. We have swans. Yeah. So what? What about the mosquitoes? I, I would yeah. recommend it. It's not do only you about do that. Yeah, we, we we do mosquito mosquito work. Um, I would recommend a spray in a summer. We we started mosquitoes uh, treatments between April and September, but it's okay. not only mosquitoes that we have to worry about. We really should be worrying about ticks. I mean, we all live uh, yes. in yeah. we okay. all live in suburb and your dogs. areas. Your dogs yeah, not out, even you know. your dogs, your children, us. Um, it, it's it's a huge concern that we have. I mean, mosquitoes, yeah, we can transmit disease. It can transmit diseases. We we really see like a like like a it's West Nile. Yeah, it's it's more of a nuisance, yeah. but more more of concern. If you're doing a mosquito, uh, you're doing a mosquito sprays. You should really focus on a uh, on a on a tick spray as well. Do and they, and they, they combined, yeah, they are combined. Yeah, and and okay. here's a question. Okay, so 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 okay. Now, what happens if I don't want someone spraying my backyard with pesticide? You know, yeah. everybody gets scared of that. And, are and you we scared? have organic. I, I mean, yeah, of course, I'm scared. Organic I mean, I can't do, work. Yeah, but that, that's what I was told it too. I, I have my yard sprayed every three work. weeks, and I was told the organic does not function, does not work as well as the yeah. non-organic. Yeah, that's true. It just depends on how often you're doing it, how much sunlight. The sunlight's going to break down our chemical and, mm -hmm. and water is going to break down our chemical. So you have organic's kids. Work. Do you use organic or the, the deadly stuff in your backyard? Well, the, nothing's deadly. Let's just, let's just put it like okay. that. I mean, this stuff's all scientifically <laughs> It's like, don't fine. scare yeah, me. It's not. It's, it's really not. <laughs> okay. I mean, and um, it just depends. So... so I'm not a huge proponent of spraying all the time um, in my backyard, for, okay. for instance, because um, my kids are playing out there. I, and I'd have to spray w every every two weeks because the, uh, I have a uh, a body of water behind okay. me. Um, so do we. Yeah. 
and, and that, that becomes yeah. a, that becomes a concern because the you know, mosquitoes are, mosquitoes, are multiplying. Even with, even with the the water, I don't. Yeah, I think you're lucky. I, well, maybe, maybe your neighbors like are treating. Maybe they don't like them. not all yeah. mos- sure. the mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. Isn't it right. true that like certain people are don't get attacked by mosquitoes? Yeah, you're just not allergic to the bites, and they okay. just don't. Oh, they, they don't want to feed on. Uh, so you're still getting it. bitten. It just doesn't react for the most part. Your yeah. mosquito and tick spray does it handle the ever like scary lantern fly here in New Jersey? Everyone, I mean, we have we have PSAs in New Jersey telling us sure. to kill them. Sure. My story. kids are like, oh, lantern fly, let's go kill them. Yeah. Yeah. They tell us to. So we so up until last year, we had no, really no guidelines on on lantern fly. It was it, it, lantern flies came really quick. So I, I I'm based out of Hudson County now. I do I, I have uh, something in Bergen County also. Mm-hmm. And Hudson County last year, uh, two years ago rather, was we had a huge issue with lantern flies. But there was no direction. The direction when the DEP came it was out, stamp them out, it was basically you guys stomp them out. Uh, we really have the no public idea. That's afraid of bugs. <laughs> is that's to kill exactly their own right. Bugs. But you ever try to kill one? They're quick. They're yeah, they're, they're yeah. Really yeah, quick. Yeah. So uh, the funny part is when them? you watch people chase them down the street <laughs> and they're like, boom, boom, boom. We, and up until last year, we only had two insecticides that were approved to actually use uh, to, to okay. kill the lantern flies. Um, we, it's going to be very interesting this year. So, so we still have yet, yet to know if the amount of damage that they're actually causing. What's interesting with the lantern flies and 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 um, it became a huge issue this year was. So, so the lantern flies are pulling the sap out of the middle of the tree, right? They're sucking the base, the base, basically the blood out of the tree, and the and and they'll, they'll and feed. Killing the trees. Yeah, well, we don't just know. Just like mosquitoes, blood sucker. Yeah, yeah we, we just don't know the amount of <laughs> damage they can do. They have no predator. Nothing's eating them. Um, it's not like I think they're, these things are native uh, to in China, and they My have kids a predator. Are their predators. Yeah, well, exactly. So we need we to are. bring that predator over here. Absolutely not. I would, I would not recommend okay. that. No, we, we don't want to um, introduce another invasive species into our, into our uh, like because then we just bug. yeah Jura exactly spider that's coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this has been enlightening. Wait, I have one more question. You have one more question. Go ahead. So we started with raccoons. Right. We went over um, bat poop. Bats. We did cockroaches, spotted lantern flies. Now. The one bug that Fleas everybody loves. What bug does everybody love? Tell me. Ladybugs. Ladybugs, exactly. Yeah. They so are adorable. I have a house. And, and it's bad luck to kill them. Yeah, I have bad a house luck to kill them. on a lake, and there's one corner of that house sure. that has ladybugs. And okay. I've had the house now for 15 years, and every beep year, there's ladybugs. And like, what am I doing wrong? How do I get? And I and I don't. Why do you want to get rid of the ladybugs? There's like a hundred of them at a yeah. time. It's not are like they, there's are one they inside or the outside. They're inside. Are you sure well, those ladybugs? probably are not ladybugs. Well, they they're, look they're, like ladybugs. Uh, they're, they're probably. Are they like uh, Chinese they're, they're lady ladybugs? Yeah, they're like well, they're, fake they're, yeah, they're, they're imitation lady ladybugs. They're lady beetles. They're overwintering and such. They, they're not. I was a, really hoping you didn't say bed bugs. <laughs> no, <laughs> a different they're, form. They're not a. Um, they they have. They're not harming us as humans. If you have pets and the pets eat them, they can they can get a little sick. It's an overwintering bug. You need an outside. Outside, Over heavy outside spray. Yeah, so, so they they want to be in the attics in the winter time to reproduce and uh. whatnot, and then once the spring comes, so I've been in the attics and like the wall by one of the windows. Well, they're gonna follow the sunlight. They're, yeah, so, they're so in the sun, sun, yeah, yeah. So, so as the sun moves around, so they're not ladybugs. The they are Lady. imposters. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly they're Chinese beetles. <laughs> so how do I, what do I do with them? How do I keep them from coming Give back? Me a call. Where is this in Pennsylvania? In Connecticut. Oh, in Connecticut. Yeah, I don't I don't go out to Connecticut, but for me, you um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> one more question you before, me before we wrap it up. <laughs> Eric was talking about how the bees were attacking him. How do you handle bees? How do you get rid of them? I mean, do you just do you do you extinguish them because they're they're bees all over? And aren't you supposed to keep bees around? Honey. Because no, but bees yeah. are, are supposed to like honey. save the world. Without well, bees, we die. Well, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, no, it's true. Without bees, I we mean, die. that's become a huge issue in in our industry, and it's something that we are scared of. So, so they're gonna they're they're attempting to start they're gonna attempting to restrict pesticides, and we say in our industry that's not a good idea, um, and, and we understand it. So, you know, honeybees become a huge issue, and yeah. and and. and when we're like when your mosquito guys are spraying, they're spraying everything and they're killing almost everything, and that, that becomes an, an, an issue, including bees. Um, I- including bees. I mean, wow. our goal, like my goal, is to kill stinging stinging insects. So you know, mm-hmm. kids can be alerted to the honeybees. We come across honeybees. We hire uh, a beekeeper to come in and and retrieve the, those honeybees. So they don't sting. Honeybees do not. No, not generally. Okay. Um, the um, th- th- what's interesting about honeybees is that there's there's actually more honeybees in captivity today in the United States than there are actually in the wild. Oh, wow. So so we're not. It's really not an, a major issue that we're concerned. So we're not losing our honey. 
No, no, they're they're. Okay. It's more than We're honey. Safe. They pollinate. Well, ah. That's they exactly that. That becomes going. that becomes yeah. That becomes all the obvious issue yeah. is is the pollination of them. Uh, the honey. The honey. Like like honey boo boo couldn't be honey boo boo if we had yeah. the honey. Oh my god. But we definitely <laughs> want to protect the bees. We we want to protect that. anything that that we can protect. We don't right. want to kill every every insect just because you see an insect doesn't mean I like I want to yeah. kill it. You, you know, like spiders. No, for you, you're not supposed to want to kill it. Did you think he doesn't look like a killer? You don't look like a pest control guy. <laughs> I, I, when what, I saw what, you, I was like, What does oh. a pest control guy look like? I don't know, but Is not like... I get it. Not I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's older. He's like more aggressive. Well, listen, I've been in the know. business for seven years, so I'm not out actually spraying anymore. I'm actually able... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm managing You're the man now. behind the spray. Well, I try to be. I, I'm still running a route once in a while, but it's been a good you know, a good run for us. We've been in business now for about seven years, and... And, um, you know, hopefully we can stay in business for another 10, 15 years. And my one of my kids, we can make it a second generation, third generation. That's that's the goal. There you go. Um, well, I think that we need everyone who has a pest control prop, pest control question to leave their comments. Yes. Mm-hmm. And when they leave their comments, I'm going to make sure that you look at them so you can answer right. back. Favorite bug. My Hands favorite down. bug Quick. is a termite. Favorite bug. None. You gotta uh, give me a favorite bug. Favorite bug is um, I actually don't mind. I like honeybees. Perfect. Yeah. Favorite yeah. bug. Ladybug. Ladybug. All right. Totally. Okay, Not cool. yours because no. yours are no, imposters. No, I love ladybug. <laughs> what, what was yours? Mine was the ladybug. It's oh, so lady, yeah. not the lady yeah. beetle. My grandfather. Lady beetle. My grandfather used to wear a ladybug on his That's shoulder right. as a pin, and people would come up to him and be like, "Oh, you have a ladybug," and they'd brush his shoulder <laughs> because nobody wants to kill the bugs. Right. So he would wake, wear a fake ladybug. And he, people would brush, and that was a conversation starter. And then he would be like, oh, I grow them in my pocket. And he would take out like an old medicine bottle, open the top. There'd be a mama ladybug in there, sure. and there'd, there'd be little stick pins, oh, and he genius. would give them a stick pin. He did genius. this all over the world. We need to put that in our book. What, do, I, do, I, what do you do with actually ladybugs? True story. Are you, are you, uh, up, you know, do you think it's bad luck to kill them? What do you do if you see ladybugs? I like, mean, I – so – my my wife hates bugs and my, my daughter also but she loves ladybugs so once in a while we'll find like a ladybug in my house and my daughter will keep it in her room and we'll oh, not and she'll torture um, it. yeah she'll torture my wife and even though she's scared of every other insect except the la- ladybug um, an outside spray really would help with, with, with most of those issues and, and again, you're killing the ladybugs you well, have a lot well, of bad luck no, dude damn. it's not a ladybug remember we're, we're misconstruing it's a lady we're, we're beetle kill- yeah, what's exactly. the difference though? they the look Chinese. different it, the one's red one's a little pink oh, sure. oh, the pink on. one which one is the pink one uh, the ladybug it, well, ladybug can be red and pink. It just depends on the breed. So, which of it. one is the lady beetle? Uh, you got to look up the difference. So, a lady be- a lady beetle will have an uh, an M on the back of her head, and and that's all you need to know. That's how you distinguish for the like difference mean. between lady. Wait, a yeah, lady exactly. beetle. For a lady beetle will have for an M mean. on the back of her neck. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, oh, big big. My last question. I know I said that five times. <laughs> is there a male ladybug? I'm sure there is. They have to reproduce. I just don't know. I wouldn't be able okay. to tell you the difference between a male and a female. I thought they're all female. women. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so yeah, much, no Al. Problem. Al from Thanks, Al. Thank you Talk guys. About pest control, yep. and everyone, leave their comments, Please and do. you're going to answer their grossest yes. bug problem. Watch out for those fleas, ticks, and bed bugs. Yep, yes. definitely. Thanks for watching this episode. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.